hey what is going on everybody welcome to unranked the challenger episode zero the video before we actually start the hard grind to challenger from all the way from unranked now uh just to give a pre-reference why i'm doing unranked the challenger is because on sea um, i actually played on the server for a few more days after eu came out and um I played with a few people and got to Diamond 4, so that's my highest achievement right now. And then on EU, I'm currently Emerald 4, and uh, I've been there for a bit. And I currently have stopped playing on the account because I really wanted to get back into content creation, and what a better way to start by doing Unranked Challenger on EU server as an NA player. Now, um, from Unranked Challenger, this is like a really good series for me because I just wanted to... Um, show you guys how to actually do it um you have to play a lot of carry champions and especially stuff like that and when you're trying to go from unranked to challenger you can't really play support champions it doesn't work out too well until you get into higher ranks um but that being said uh wild is releasing champions like crazy so it's really fun to watch them release new champions and to actually be able to play them um this whole time so that's a great part about this right now and they're going to keep releasing awesome champions and we will be there to cover them and play them as well and i will help more people like me that actually play solo queue um or if you guys play mainly solo queue i'll help you guys try to get into those higher ranks as well and understand what it actually takes uh to get to from unranked to challenger in solo queue it definitely is really hard it definitely is a big grind um but being able to do it is i'd say is pretty impressive because it is very very difficult um, and basically that's all I wanted to be doing um, now my specialty comes into bruiser and fighter champions um, tanks as well those are I'm pretty good at those um, but I definitely do struggle a lot more on the ADCs and mids so mainly throughout the series I am going to be trying to play jungle um, and support and maybe some baron lane in there as well uh, but definitely not much mid or ADC but if if it need be I do know how to play TF Ari and Gragas mid, so, you know, we'll be fine. Uh, but some of the higher skill champs like Yasuo and Zed, I have not even tried enough games on to say I'm proficient in them. So definitely won't be playing those in mid and definitely not an ADC fan. Um, so we'll definitely be staying away from that unless it's Jin, because Jin's amazing. Um, that being said, I feel like i understand a little bit about the game i'm obviously not the greatest yet and we're all learning together um, but i have a, a little bit of knowledge to help people get through those lower ranks and get into at least the middle ranks of platinum and emerald um, i definitely do have some guidance for people that do need help getting you know to those ranks um so you know i feel like this is going to be a really good series for me as well i have a lot to learn and for anybody watching the video if you guys want to help me learn as well that'd be greatly appreciated so if you guys have any tips for me or any information that i could use that's awesome um but without wasting any time let's get into the build before this video ends because you guys can see we already have 17 kills so the build that i'm using on Lee Sin, um early on before level 10 um if you guys are just starting off the game as well so before level 10 i'm using electrocute um and then i am using brutal because brutal is probably the best run for junglers right now and then i'm also using hunter titan because every kill that you get you're gaining that 20 um or you're gaining a little bit of tenacity which you can build up to like 20 percent really quickly which is better than spirit walker and i'm using mastermind um, because you do get it really really early on i think it's like level four level five you get mastermind and it's probably one of the best runes in the game to use as a jungler because you're always taking objectives and it's giving you more xp and gold um and then the build i'm using default build right now because well we're an unranked so it doesn't really matter but that's about it so if you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.